So I'm here in uh, Leuven at the CKH with uh, Anna van Varken and uh, she's just uh, shown me in uh, the upcoming Radar Opus her new uh, illustration. And uh, Anna, uh, we have received uh, many questions from users mm -hmm. and we would like to go over them. Sure. So some questions which people have about your approach. Mm -hmm. And let me first start in general. Uh, a general question, uh, what does your approach uh, differ from other approaches? Yes, indeed. That's a good question and I got it uh, regularly because uh, I call it a vital approach. So what is specific for it? Eh? So I, I would say it's a, a, a personal blend, of course, of classical knowledge and um, new knowledge from contemporary homeopaths and my 22 years of practice and of course my background in arts and linguistics and anthropology. So as I already explained a bit in my book uh, The Charm of Homeopathy, I consider homeopathy as a symbolizing act and since we are symbolizing creatures, which is an intrinsic aspect of a human being, is we capture signs and symptoms in symbols. Even our very real experience of ourselves and the world, we need symbols to communicate them. So that is a basic theoretical background from which I approach homeopathy. But more practically, I use the five level diagrams, which you can see on the mm -hmm. Opus program, to visualize the location of the disturbance. And I visualize it beyond mind and body, and Hahnemann calls this the vital disturbance of the disturbed vital force. So that's why I call it the vital level. And before that, I mean, more um, uh, dense is the physical body, we have more subtle bodies around it, so we have the energetic body in my scheme and then that's the bodily aspect and we have the mind which is divided in two aspects, the emotional and the mental aspects. So this is the five level diagram which, are the, which um, resembles other schemes of levels of, of the approach and levels but they use more levels as you know Sankaran schemes are seven levels and they don't have the second level which I call the energetic aspect or the energetic level as a, a layer or aspect that is intertwined with the physical body so I think that is different mm -hmm. than other approaches it's mostly overlooked are not well understood and I think it's crucial for homeopathy mm -hmm. to pay attention to this energetic level. So mm -hmm. that's are the main differences. Okay, thank you.